So the Hebrew word El, which is usually translated uh, God mm -hmm. or uh, divine being, mm -hmm. uh, really is from the Akkadian Ilu, ILU. ILU, yes. ILU. Yes. Uh, and uh, it, it meant uh, literally the lofty one. Mm. So if you want to be very precise, uh, you have to translate wherever it says El, uh, you have to say the lofty one. Now, I was asked... <coughs> you mean the elites? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the lofty one. You never know. You That's never right. know. Maybe elite comes from that. Yeah? Well, it was a new subject. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I was asked, for example, by uh, my brother uh, about... He says, well, if Yava I told Moses, who persisted to know, what is your name, what is your name? Uh, he said to him, call me, whatever, or tell, tell, he really told him, tell the, the Israelites that Eheye Asher Eheye, whoever I want to be, I'll be sent you to be my spokesman, mm -hmm. emissary. Uh, so my brother asked me, uh, and, and then it says there that he says, I did not tell my name to Abraham or to Isaac. That's right, yes. So my brother said, so when Abraham referred to whoever told yeah. him, leave your home, go to Canaan, do this, do that. Who was he talking to? He, no, when, when he went to his wife, when he uh -huh. went to Isaac okay. and said, I'm supposed to take you to Mount Moriah. Who did he say? Who did he say told me that? Yeah. Good question, if he had no name. I said, well, we find an answer to that because uh, after um, Abraham uh, saved his nephew Lot from the attackers who came from Mesopotamia, you know, the war of the kings, the kings of the east against the kings, the Canaanite kings, he saved him. He was met at the gates of the future Jerusalem mm. by the high priest who offered him uh, bread and wine. And uh, he wanted to offer Abraham some, uh, some of the booty, some, mm -hmm. of the, you know, material. And Abraham said, no, 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 I did it because El Elyon instructed me to do it. El Elyon means the supreme El. Mm. Not the lofty one, which would be an Anunnaki, but the one above. who is above them which takes you back to God with the capital G, et cetera, et cetera. I am I'm so very appreciative of your time, but I really have to ask you something that's important to me. In my particular uh, work in examining the uh, occult or hidden symbolism uh, in our modern-day religious and political movements, I became fascinated about 20 years ago with the symbol of the sun as it is used by the secret societies, the fraternal orders, and especially in our political and religious uh, symbolism today. It was fascinating to me that the sun, uh, when you brought up that uh, what we're talking about, or it was, uh, I guess David Talbot even talked about the, the sun being Saturn, but the sun has been used, uh, that sun symbol with the, uh, with the winged, the winged sun, you brought out was the symbol of the Anunnaki, 